One of the greats in rockabilly music with Gene Vincent. But until recent years, a lot of people never appreciated his contributions. Tell us about your relationship with Gene Vincent and when you first saw him. When I first met Gene Vincent was in St. Angelo, Texas. He played Gwynn Field Baseball Stadium, our little baseball stadium there. We opened and we thought we kicked pretty good. We thought we did okay, you know, we thought we were really... And then all of a sudden, this guy, Gene Vincent, comes on stage. Now, I'd seen Elvis, remember, 1955, and I thought that's the greatest performance I'm ever going to see. But Gene Vincent was... Um, Absolutely amazing. Oh, she's just the woman that I know. Oh, she's just the woman that loves me so say. Be bop and lula, she's my baby. Be bop and lula, I don't know my baby. Be bop and lula, she's Bebop Alula stayed at the top of the national pop and country charts till October 1956 and sold well over a million copies. Well,